the, uh, you're, you're obviously uh, addressing something that you're very seriously concerned about. I, I noted uh, on uh, November 2nd, the Washington Post uh, uh, carried uh, this report. Uh, the Arctic Ocean is warming up. Icebergs are growing scarcer. And in some places, the seals are finding the water too hot, according to a report to the Commerce Department yesterday. Uh, reports from fishermen, seal hunters, and explorers all point to a radical change in climate conditions and hitherto unheard of temperatures in the Arctic zone. Uh, exploration expeditions report that scarcely any ice has been met as far north as 81 degrees 29 minutes. Soundings to a depth of 3,100 meters showed the Gulf Stream still very warm. Great masses of ice have been replaced by moraines of earth and stones. The report continued uh, while at many points well-known glaciers have entirely disappeared. Uh, very few seals and no whitefish are found in the eastern Arctic, while vast shoals of herring and smelts, uh, which have never before ventured so far north, are being encountered in the old seal fishing grounds. Within a few years, it's predicted that uh, due to the ice melt, the sea will rise and make uh, most coastal cities uninhabitable. Is, is this a crisis you're referring to? It is a crisis we're trying to address. And, and, and um, uh, how, how long has this been reaching a critical condition? I'm not sure how you would define a critical condition. I think we are seeing the impacts now, and this guidance uh, is a tool that agencies will be able to use to provide us information on how Specifically to, to address the, the catastrophic warming that this report refers to. I'm not familiar with that specific report. Well, what I can perhaps the reason that is because uh, it was November 2nd, 1922, that the Washington Post carried this article. I think we can agree that global warming's been going on for a long time. It's been going on, on and off, uh, since the last ice age. Uh, in fact, um, uh, I attended the president's address at Yosemite uh, this past year. I was struck by his noting that the glaciers in Yosemite were disappearing, and it occurred to me that had he given that speech on that very spot 12,000 years before, he would have been covered by nearly 3,000 feet of ice. Uh, doesn't that predate the invention of the SUV? What I can speak to is the facts that scientists are pointing to now. So as has been rightly pointed out, I am not a climate scientist, but what I well, have but, been but, 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 and, and neither am I, but I, I do know history, and our prehistory tells us the climate's always changing. We know that uh, during the Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago, uh, atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were five times higher than they are today, and it was the planet's most prolific period for new species. Do you, do, you, do you deny this science? What I know is that Do you that deny 15, this? Yes or no? Do you, not, do you, not, do you deny the this science? The hottest years on record have happened since 2000. Well, when you say we on, have now wait, had pardon 16 me, months my, my of global averages. Well, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up because we know in recorded history that during the Roman warm period from about 250 to 400 AD, much of Rome's grain supply was grown in what are now the deserts of North Africa. We know that during the medieval warm period, uh, from the 10th through the 13th centuries, rime, wine grapes were grown in northern Britain, and Iceland and Greenland supported a thriving agricultural economy. And we also know that during the Little Ice Age that followed, the Thames River froze solid every winter, and, advice, and advancing ice sheets destroyed many towns in Europe. So to, to change this, I'm just wondering what it is that you estimate this to cost. Congressman, what I know do, do, do you not, are the changes that we are experiencing now, the costs associated with that. But, and but the these are changes that the, be, these are changes we that we have so. noted throughout the recorded history of civilization, and that science tells us were occurring long before the, the emergence of human life on this planet. So now let me just ask you, what are these? regulations going to cost this guidance going to cost so this guidance is not a regulation it is not legally enforceable and in fact what it does is how much is it going if, if, if it is followed to the letter how much is it going to cost I do not have that figured for you because it is not a regulation. It is not required to be followed to, by agencies. I, I suspect because the, the price forward. is absolutely astronomical, and if you dared to be candid with this committee or the American people, you'd have a revolt on your hands. I yield back.